Hey guys, I have a interesting little cockroach to show you here. Uh, this is another recent acquisition. This is the looks like a cousin anyway to the uh, German cockroach. And in appearances, if I were to see this running around in the city or in my house, I would probably think that I have German cockroaches. But this is uh, Blatella asehine, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, this is the I, I think they were called Asian field roaches. Uh, somebody will have to correct me if I'm wrong on here, but they are um, kind of an invasive species down south, but they uh, they don't come into your house, uh, which is nice. They actually stay in the fields, and they're actually a pretty voracious predator of, um, I believe it was the cotton, cotton bow weevil, something like that, uh, of the eggs and whatnot of their species. So, they, even though they are an invasive species, uh, they do not live in our houses and have actually been kind of beneficial to the uh, industry down south for uh, agriculture. So these are Othicolang, uh just like the German cockroaches, which are a very similar looking species. Uh, they don't require much food. Um, one piece of dog food lasts quite a long time. One little piece of apple has lasted quite a long time. You can see them eating it right now, actually. Um, I keep these in a mason jar with a little bit of holes in the top. Uh, the, this is actually an old feeder jar to my uh, honeybee colony, and the, ho the holes in the top were just big enough that the, uh, the adult, or the, I'm sorry, the babies, the nymphs, the uh, first instars could not get out, uh, but also big enough to let the uh, airflow enough in this jar, which these guys seem to be doing pretty well in. Um, it does make it a little bit difficult to feed and whatnot, being in a jar like this, but I have pretty decent sized tongs that I can get in there and do whatever I need to. And eventually I'll probably move them to a different style of container, uh, just because I don't really like putting them in glass jars or any of my animals really, except for my arboreal spiders like my uh, uh, northern black widows and stuff. But anyway, these guys are interesting. They're still fairly new to my collection. Um, so I'll let you know how they do in a little while. Um, but I, I'm pretty happy to have them because as much as the German cockroach is interesting, I do not want that in my house just because I am an exterminator and I know how terrible they can infest. So I got these from uh, Kyle as well of roachcrossing.com. Uh, plug him again there. And he is brave enough to actually keep the German cockroach while I am not. So this is my uh, alternative to the Germans. Because I do find them fascinating, I just don't want those in my house. So, if you guys have any questions, I can try to answer them. Um, and I will see you in the next video.